Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 2 for our Palo Alto firewall troubleshooting. And in this video, I will be talking about session details. So in the first video, what we have understand is what exactly a session is. In this video, we are going to understand what are the states of the session in the firewall because we need to troubleshoot a session, right? How a firewall records or retrieve the information of session and keeps into its state table. What are the information and how it got recorded? Okay. How we can check the session and its details like what, how many sessions that a firewall can handle or in the sessions what are the informations will be there we will be seeing that as well and also we'll explore some of the details about the traffic log so that we can understand what how how we can check the logs and we can troubleshoot further so guys this information is very much important if you are working in a real time environment or maybe if you are preparing for any interview okay so i'll highly recommend you to please watch this video till then so that you can understand this information and you can use it so and also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, before I start the video, I just wanted to thank everyone with the support for my last video on uh, Palo Alto troubleshooting. And one more information that I wanted to give you guys and uh, that let's say i have like created a lot of videos on palo alto firewall so let's suppose if you have any kind of issues understanding any topic so let's suppose i'm taking an example of nat okay you want to understand the topic okay in very detailed manner or let's say if you want to set up a lab what you can do is uh, you can go to my page okay to my page click on join button okay click on network warrior and join it okay after that what you can do is you can send me an email to this one that i've joined it and you can share your mobile number so what i'll do is i will add your number to our telegram group okay and in that group we have few members right now and in that group our target is to have a very technical discussion you guys can share some 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 kind of uh, issues that you are facing or maybe you can discuss uh, some topics which you are unable to understand and weekly we will be having a session with all the members and then we can understand like all the members will agree on some topics and then we'll be discussing in very detailed manner with the lab okay so now let's get back to the video so friends uh, first of all we'll understand the session states in firewall so with the example of this diagram we'll try and understand how the session will get changed in the firewall so let's say this is pc1 and it has initiated let's say a tcp connection so first of all the three-way handshakes will be happening over here right so first packet the sync packet went okay now it went to palo alto firewall okay so in palo alto firewall there will be a lot of sessions id okay and i'll talk about session id in our next topic okay so just understand there will be a lot of session id which will be freed up or available those sessions id will be in the end state they will they will be waiting for the traffic okay so once the traffic reaches to palo alto firewall or the sync traffic reaches to palo alto firewall a session id will get assigned to that packet so this packet get assigned to this session id okay and it that session will become a opening session okay 
and after that once the rule matches and all those things it will move to active so here you just understand the rule is matched okay and after that once the data transfer happens like uh, the three way handshake and the data exchange happens after that it goes to closing state after closing it it goes to close state and then the session id gets free and it will be in the in state okay if this rule doesn't match then it goes to discard then closed then freed so it's very simple opening active discard closing close and free so why it is happening because session needs to be freed up if that is not used if you want to understand each step in very detailed manner i'll i'll give the link of that particular document where paul alto defined properly what state what does what it does exactly uh, in this table you will be able to understand maybe you can pause the video and you can see what all this state means okay so now friends uh, we'll try to check the session and its details and we'll try to find what information we will find in the session okay so we'll log into the device and we'll see what information we'll get so this is our Palo Alto device this is a VM device okay so we'll type so session information okay now once you type this command you'll get a lot of information over here we'll try to understand each of one okay so number of supported session okay is 1248 this will be based on your license what you're getting okay specific to the device okay now how many sessions that are allocated right now how many tcp udp icmp and all those things well, what is the utilization table how many packets what is the packet throughput and all those things okay and also it also gives you the session timeout as well this can be customized as per your uh, the company standard or whatever compliance standards that you guys are having okay it differs company to company but this is the standard one what Palo Alto has given you okay so what does this timeout means that if let's say this is a PC and this is a server if they are not talking for certain of time certain period of time what Palo Alto will be doing like it it will be in between this PC and the server it tries to remove this connection and freeze up the session so that session can go to INT state and then it can be used for other connections as well okay so with the help of session information you will get lot of insights of the connection what is happening inside the device like the timeout value what are the TC, how many tcp connections are valid how many packets rates are there how what is the throughput that device is giving right now so this information is useful okay so friends now we will see how the sessions get recorded in in Palo Alto firewall so what are the information Palo Alto firewall takes it from the traffic and use it for future reference or maybe return traffic okay so what we gonna do is let me show you the diagram so we'll be initiating connection from R1 to R2 and we'll check the session table what are the session uh, like what are the information Paul Alto has taken for the session um, to uh, in the state table okay so let me log into R1 and we'll tell it to R2 okay and we'll put the username password so we have successfully tell it to R2 now we'll go to Paul Alto firewall and we'll see so session all okay now we'll see a session id 8 and telnet from this source to this destination okay 
so let me check the details of this session id so session id 8 okay now once you do that you'll have you'll have like lot of information the source the destination the protocol the source port destination port and the zone as well that is from client to server so basically from r1 to r2 so r1 has become source like this uh, the client and r2 has become the server and also there will be a return traffic which needs to be allowed and this source like this source which was destination like from so uh, client to server from server to client it is opposite same way for this one as well okay and also the zone is also over here okay so there will be an opposite rule which gets created dynamically once the source sends the traffic towards destination and also it gives you the information about the session timing okay timeout value how many time to get time out of this connection total byte send and receive this is one of the best way to find whether from source to destination the traffic is sent and from destination to source whether any traffic is coming or not if it is zero let's say this number is zero in that case you can see and you can say to that user that the destination is not replying our firewall has allowed the connection but destination is not allow like it is not responding the connection once you see the byte is zero okay and if you see other information here like the rule number all those things okay so yeah i will explore some more information over here okay now you will see the egress interface the egress interface as well so all these information is very vital to troubleshoot any kind of issue it will be very useful as well as it is very easy to troubleshoot so now friends will understand what is traffic log the traffic logs are the same logs like it will be the same logs what we have seen in the session table okay so same way you will see the time and type what from which zone to which zone source destination port number allow rule id and there will be a session reason end and there are a lot more information once you click this you will get uh, it will uh, a page will get open a tab like a pop-up will open and you will be seeing lot more information okay I'll talk about that one like the session and reason in next video with illustrating some practical example it will clarify you what is exactly happening and what is session and reason for that okay so all those things I'll be covering this is just to explain you what is traffic log so traffic log is nothing but it it will be very useful for your troubleshooting and you will be getting this information so once you are aware what is session and how it deals inside the firewall which i have explained you today you will be able to troubleshoot the uh, traffic or uh, troubleshoot the issue inside the palo alto firewall so in the next video what i'm going to do is I'll be putting a practical example okay and I'll show you with the help of traffic log as well as other things that how can you recognize what exactly is the issue okay whether it uh, with the help of application whether it's uh, uh, with the help of session and reason or maybe source destination or any other things okay and once we get into the details we'll we'll get to know all the information as well
okay so this is what i wanted to cover in this video if you liked it please give it a like if you have any kind of suggestion regarding my video please feel free to put in the comment or if you have any any kind of any confusion please put it in the comment box i'll try to answer it or maybe you can send me an email uh, regarding my suggestion or any confusion regarding the video uh, i'll try to answer as soon as possible or maybe you can send me a dm in instagram or facebook or wherever you want and also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you'll never miss a video from me so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video